The Euros is one of the most prestigious tournaments in world football, with Europe's best teams all going at it for the chance of silverware. How can we forget moments like Ronaldo lifting Portugal's first ever trophy in 2016, Denmark shocking the world and winning it in 1992, and Italy's intense win against England in that immaculate penalty shootout? Although you hear many stories and coverage about the main knockout tournament, sometimes the qualifiers get overlooked and they could be just as interesting as the main tournament. And today, we will look at the match that happened in Euro 2016 qualifying, where two countries with a troubled history were placed in the same group. Group I had seen Albania and Serbia play against each other. But before we go into the match, let's go over a very brief history on why these two nations aren't really that friendly. Well, these nations' histories both span centuries, and there are many things that happen over many years that can indicate the tensions between the two. But let's look at the two things that have happened recently. Well, recently in the grand scheme of things. The Kosovo War is the main thing that we are going to focus on. Kosovo is a nation, well according to over 100 countries, that is in Eastern Europe, and in 2008 they declared their independence over Serbia. However, till this day, Serbia refutes the independence claims and says that Kosovo is still a part of Serbia. In 1998 would mark the start of the Kosovo War. The largest ethnic group in Kosovo is Albanians, and without getting too deep into it, over 13,000 civilians and fighters would pass away due to the war, and more than 1 million people had been displaced due to it. The Kosovo War would end one year later with NATO intervention, when NATO would start a bombing campaign in Yugoslavia because they wanted to stop the ethnic cleansing of Albanians. The war would result in a NATO victory, and to this day, there has been bad blood between the two nations even bleeding into sport, where a controversial moment would come up when Jaka and Shakiri would celebrate in their 2018 World Cup match against Serbia by doing an eagle salute, which is a reference to the Albanian flag, as well as wearing boots that had the Kosovo flag on it. Switzerland would go on and win that match 2-1, and Serbia had filed a complaint to FIFA about it. Now, before I go on, I am not saying who was right and wrong in this situation, I am simply telling you the events that happened. But let's flash back to the Euro 2016 qualifiers. Albania would start off their qualifying campaign with a solid win over Portugal, away from home. The second game would be played against Denmark, where the points would be shared 1-1. In Serbia, they hadn't been that bad either. They'd only played one match, but they'd played against Armenia and they would get another point, 1-1. This meant that it was time for Serbia to host Albania in Belgrade on the 14th of October in 2014. Before the match, there were tons of riot police stationed there and the stadium had an electric atmosphere, with many Serbians cheering, whistling, and having flares. The match would begin, and it would be a rough one, but nothing wrong would happen until the 41st minute where flares had been thrown onto the pitch. This had suspended the match, and in the distance, a drone would come down carrying something, a flag, and no one could tell what it was for the first couple of seconds, until the drone would come to a full stop, and the people had seen that the flag was carrying a picture of Greater Albania which is a nationalistic concept that seeks to unify what many Albanians consider their national homeland. Along with this, it had the Albanian Declaration of Independence signature date, which was November 28, 1912. And it also had two pictures of Albanians' founding fathers. The drone's flag would be caught by Serbian defender Stefan Mitrovic. Seeing this, Andy Lila and Talent Jaka, who is the older brother of Granit Jaka, would run towards Mitrovic to retrieve the flag. And this is when all hell broke loose. Following a tiny scuffle between the players, an Albania player had ended up getting the flag back, and he would try to run off the pitch with it, until a Serbian fan had gotten onto the pitch and hit him in the head with a plastic stool. That is when Albanian captain Lorik Kana would take down the fan and start punching him. This is when a full-on fight would start, where both teams' benches would be cleared, pitch stewards and other staff members would run onto the field. More Serbian supporters would make their way onto the pitch, however the Serbian squad was able to calm them down just a bit and stop from more random people getting onto the pitch. Now the match had been abandoned by the referee, and he told both teams to go back to their locker rooms, and on the way to the locker room, the fans would throw many things at the uh, Albanian side and one supporter was even able to go and attack the team on the way to the locker room. Finally, both teams were able to get off the pitch, and thankfully no one would sustain any serious injuries. But the madness wouldn't end there. 
The Serbian police would search everyone's bag to find a remote for the drone, but they couldn't find anything. And at first, UEFA's ruling would be that Serbia would be deducted 3 points and they had won the match 3-0, and Albania would be the side to forfeit the match. That ruling didn't go over well on both sides, and they would appeal to UEFA, but they would be rejected. And still, both FAs weren't satisfied, and they went to the Court of Arbitration for Sport, and their siding would be with Albania. They would reverse the 3-0 loss, giving Albania the win, and kept the 3 points deducted for Serbia. However for them, FIFA wouldn't ban the return fixture, and it would be played out in Albania, where the Serbians would win 2-0. To this day, they are still allowed to play against each other. So now, you might be asking, what did this mean for the qualifying group? Well, because of this decision, Serbia had basically no chance of qualifying from the jump, and they would finish 4th in the group with 4 points. And Albania would qualify for a major competition for the first time in their history, and they would make their debut at the Euros. They had been placed in a group with France, Switzerland, and Romania. Unfortunately for them, they would lose to both France and Switzerland, but they would get a win over Romania, and they would be knocked out in the tournament in the group stage. Both Albania and Serbia have qualified for Euro 2024, and are in different seeding pots, so maybe we will see them face each other very soon. But honestly, my take on this situation is that I feel bad for the Serbian players, as they didn't ask for this to happen, and their morale was probably hurt a lot after getting 3 points deducted and Albania being awarded the match 3-0. So maybe a replay in a neutral location could have been the right thing to do. So, what do you guys think of this match? Was Serbia's punishment just? Should both of these countries not be allowed to play against each other? Please let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe, as I will be making more videos like this one.